This is a quick tutorial on the Smart Layout feature within iMindMap 5. Now Smart Layout works in the background whilst you're working and naturally lays out your map as you are drawing. It uses auto layout technology, so when you add branches, other branches and images on your workspace should move out of place so that you can add the new idea. To show you this in practice, I'm going to draw a branch and place it between the preparing and the creating branch. Um, you can see that the space is very tight here. So when I release my mouse, you should see that the branch is gently moved out, posi out of position so I could then add this new branch. Just to show you again, I'm going to add another branch which is slightly colliding and overlapping with these branches already on my mind map. And you can then see Smart Layout gently move the branches out of position to make room for your brand new idea. Smart Layout is defaulted on as standard, but you can choose to turn this off. Now you can go to the Format tab and you will find Smart Layout Settings. Now if you are a Mac user, simply go to the Format menu on the top toolbar. By clicking on Smart Layout Settings you will have a number of options. The first is On or Off. As I mentioned, Smart Layout is defaulted as On, but you can turn this off if you prefer not to have this working. There are Auto Condense features. This is useful if you are using tools such as Expand and Collapse. Please see the Expand and Collapse icon. Um, tutorial to find a little bit more about this. Under Smart Layout Settings you can also choose the branch style so you've got an organic branch, curved branch on the left hand side and a more linear on the right hand side and finally you can choose the spacing so whether you wanted a small amount of space between your branches or a large amount of space. Smart Layout also works when you're using the Speed Mind Map shortcut keys. So if speed's important to you, you can use the shortcut keys on your keyboard to add your branches for you, which makes your mouse redundant. This is really good if you're taking notes, if you want to capture ideas and information very quickly. Uh, the Speed Mind Map shortcut keys really help you to get those ideas down quickly. Please see the Speed Mind Map tutorial for a little bit more information on this. I'm just going to add a few branches onto my mind map using the Speed Mind Map keys. You should be able to see when I add my branches they're gently spaced and placed down my workspace so that there are no collisions or overlaps. This is using the Smart Layout technology to naturally lay out my branches for me, making the job quicker because I don't have to use my mouse to equally space them out or to create room for them. We always recommend that you keep Smart Layout turned on. This will allow you to mind map very quickly and avoid collisions um, as the software will automatically lay out your branches for you.